Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In today's video we're going to be setting up my bullet journal for the month. So it's the 1st of October today, um, so I wanted to share with you my beautiful October plan. I think it's one of my favourite month setups I've ever done actually. And it might be because over the last few months I've been lacking a little bit. I've done like the cover but I haven't really pushed myself to do the rest artistically like with the mood tracker and the habit tracker because I hadn't really worked hard on it if I forgot it didn't really bother me so I wanted to make it something that I, you know I've spent a lot of work doing this setup so I'm gonna use it this month because otherwise all that was a waste of time so yeah it just holds you a little bit more accountable when you put that effort into setting it up. It's looking pretty thick now. I mean, we're towards the end of the year and uh, yeah, it's how I want it to be. But I want it even thicker. So let's do some planning. First up, I like to plan it all out in pencil, just so I know what sort of thing that I'm going for, what pages I want to do. Um, so of course, we've got the front cover. Um, where I've got the birthdays and my monthly goal and then it gives the monthly overview a lot of people liked my scrapbooky page that I did in my last video which was in create this book weren't it where I had to pick one colour so I picked the colour orange and I did washi tapes and yeah it was very that that journaly kind of feel so I wanted to use that in this bullet journal setup as well I decided to draw lots of illustrations of autumnal stuff so we've got leaves acorns pumpkins and so on and I've also done this beautiful little girl um, where she's in her really thick baggy jumper and her lovely long skirt and nice hat and big scarf I love autumn because of the things that I get to wear. I love wearing hats and scarves and being comfy and cosy. So I'm all over that. So I needed a little girl in there to, to portray what I love about autumn. Okay, so I'm going in with my watercolour. At first I do it quite messily. I wanted it to go outside the lines a little bit. And then I go in with the darker colours over that to neaten it up and bring it all together and I absolutely love these illustrations some I didn't keep most of them I did I really really like them and basically I'm gonna cut them all out and I'm gonna photocopy them so I can use them throughout my bullet journal spread so that we've got that theme running throughout I've also done some tickets and these are like these vintage style tickets that are going to be holding the information. For example, on the October one, i would got a little space for birthday, so I wanted a little space to be able to write that. So here I am scanning them all in and photocopying them so that I've got hundreds of them. And the, the part that took the time was cutting them all out individually, um, but I feel like this helped um, create that scrapbook feel um, instead of buying loads of stickers in I, I made them myself so let's start off with the front cover I've also printed out some maps and some music paper and I am putting in washi tape and I've got my little girl in the corner and then I'm writing out in handwriting October and yeah I'm just adding to it bit by bit I mean with this you've just got to have a little play around and move things around and be like yeah I like that there I like that there and eventually it all starts coming together and it's really exciting so I really really love the front cover I think it worked perfectly and I needed a little sticker at the top to show where I wanted to write my goal now, my goal this month is to do Inktober. Inktober um, is where you have a prompt every single day of October and you do it in some kind of ink. Now, last year I did Inktober for the first time and it's where I fell in love with line and wash watercolour. It transformed my skills because I was trying things that I'd never done before. So my goal for this month is to do all of the prompts in Inktober now, for those that 
needs a bit of a kick up the butt with procrastination, this is a really good one because again, it holds you really accountable, especially when you're sharing your work, which is really scary, but it makes you do it every single day. Now I'm gonna be doing mine in my uh, Diary for Artists, which I published back in July. Um, so if you've got yours as well, this is a great place to be doing your Inktober in. Um, it's also still available on Amazon, little plug. Um, so if you wanna get yours, feel free to head on over to Amazon and get it from there and yeah so Inktober is what I'm going to be doing this month and I'm really really excited for it. So my monthly overview was fairly simple I just wanted every day on there so that I can write little notes of um, you know those little things that I need to remember. Yeah I just stuck lots of little stickers around it and I think these two pages came together so well and I absolutely love them. Okay, so let's move on to the mood tracker. So yeah, I wanted to make it very beautiful so that I would actually fill it in. Now I'm using lots of leaves for this one because it's autumn and I'm going to color them in as we go along through the month with my different emotions. Now I have many, many emotions, so it's gonna be quite a big list in that key. And I've also used my stamps uh, for the mood tracker uh, title and I'm also going to do some stamping on my habit tracker as well so that it, it all ties together, you know. And yeah, my habit tracker is a little bit more simple, it's just 1 to 31 and then across the top I'll be writing all the things that I want to tick off each day. So that one is a really good one. Again, I'm useless at remembering to fill it in, but this month is going to be different. I'm gonna do it, because look how beautiful it is. You know, I've worked hard on this. What's the point in doing all this if I'm not gonna fill it in? So there's my habit tracker. I've also um, done lines where the weekends are, just to help me know the dates. Okay, next few pages are for my business, so uh, with my mini farm, I need to be writing down every little bit of income that I'm doing. I also write down anything that I earn from my Cassie projects, like my book sales. And yeah, so this page, I just wanted it to be fairly simple with a column for the date, uh, for the type of payment that I was receiving, and then the amount. And then I've got the little tickets at the bottom where I'm gonna do the totals. And my incubation planner, again, for my Cassie's mini farm, where I breed animals. Um, this is to help me stay organized with my incubator. I'm continually incubating quails, and I need a place for them for each step of their journey. So they're in the incubator, then I need to put them in the brooder with the heat and then they're going outside. So this is gonna help me stay organized. Uh, the next page again is for my business, which is my balance sheet. So this is just an overview of how much I've earned, what my expenses were and the total profit or loss for this month. Um, I think this is one of my favorite pages. It was, um, just fun. I just put loads on there and I loved how the tickets have just been those few little bits where I need to do the writing um, and I think it looks gorgeous. So that page really came together well. And then on the other side, I'm doing my timetable. my timetable I just wanted to have a very ridiculously over collaged page um, ready for me to stick lots of uh, lines on so that I could write out my timetable. Next up is my mind dump so this is where I get quite creative. I plan most of my videos here so when I'm doing my create this book, write this journal pages I need somewhere to plan it. So this is where my mind dump comes in handy. So I've got um, five places for the five videos this month 
and then an extra little space for anything else that I need to plan like my shorts and so on so this is kind of like my my YouTube video planner page and then onto the last two pages is just a very simple plan so my daily plan I just like to put a few things in there that I need to keep on top of each day my timetable is very similar throughout the week so I've just got a very small space for each day and that's all I need really and then finally right at the end I'm leaving a little space so that I can plan my bullet journal for next month so on here I can do my main page and I can stick little things in that I would like the theme to look like so there's my bullet journal this is one of my favourite months I've ever planned. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the colours. I, I love autumn, so I'm going to be very biased anyway. But I just think it came together so well and I think it's going to really push me to stay organised and keep it up all month long. So there you go. There is my bullet journal. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye! If like me, you like getting creative, uh, not just art, not just crafts, but even if it's DIY or baking or gardening, whatever you're into that allows you to get creative, then feel free to come and join my uh, Facebook group. It's called Cassie's Creativity Club. And basically, we just share our artwork. We encourage each other, inspire each other. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.